I guess it's new model week. Anthropic just dropped a new version of Claude Opus. This is Claude Opus 4.1, and yes, it is obviously better than 4.0. Here's the blog. Today, we're releasing Claude Opus 4.1, an upgrade to Claude Opus 4 on agentic tasks, real-world coding, and reasoning. We plan to release substantially larger improvements to our models in the coming weeks. Fantastic. I love when a new model drops like Claude 4 because you know they're just going to continue to iterate on it and make it better and squeeze every ounce of intelligence out of these foundation models. Let's get right into the benchmarks. So this is Sui Bench Verified. Here's Sonnet 3.7 at 62.3. Opus 4 jumped to 72.5 and Opus 4.1 squeezed out another 2% to get to 74.5% on Sweebench Verified. It might not seem like a lot, but every percentage point matters. And according to the post, it also improves Claude's in-depth research and data analysis skills, especially around detail tracking and agentic search. I love to hear this because the better it works within agentic frameworks, the more capabilities it's going to have. Scaffolding is all you need. Let's look at some more benchmarks. Here it is with Terminal Bench, its ability to use the terminal at 43 0.3 as compared to 39.2, so another single digit percentage bump. Here is GPQA Diamond, which is graduate level reasoning. It is a minor bump, 80.9 as compared to 79.6. We have Tau Bench. This is agentic tool use, a very important benchmark for agentic frameworks. Here it is for retail Tau Bench, 82.4 as compared to 81.4, a 1% bump. But for airline, it actually went down 56% as compared to 59.6. For multilingual Q&A, 89.5 as compared to 88.8. And visual reasoning, another single point bump. And Amy 2025, a two and a half point bump up to 78%. Now, if we're comparing all of these to OpenAI's O3, and Gemini 2.5 Pro, we can see on Sui Bench, it is beating both of them. Terminal Bench, same thing. Now for GPQA Diamond, it is being beat by both of these other models, and it's more or less the same for agentic tool use. But look at this, for high school math competition, it is getting pretty dominated, to be honest. O3 at 88.9, Gemini 2.5 Pro at 88%, and Opus 4.1 at 78%. None of these benchmarks really matter. What really matters is when you get in and you start using it, how does it work? How does it perform? Right now, Claude is still best known for being the best coding model on the market. We'll see if that changes soon, but for now, it is kind of widely understood that Claude is currently the best at agentic coding with agent-driven development. So that's it. It's a very short blog post. That's all the information I have so far. I'm definitely going to be testing it. And if you do, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.